knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We just learned how to pronounce vowels in Latin, so it's time to move on to consonant sounds. Latin consonants have more or less the same intuitive sounds as English consonants, but there are a few differences that need to be mentioned. C. This is always hard, as in cat, no matter what vowel follows, and never soft, as in cinema. Canis, culina, kiwis, kentum, kikero, ducere. G. This is also always hard, as in golf, and never soft, as in giraffe. Gutta, galina, gemere, gingiwa, regio, gloria. H. This is pronounced with very light aspiration and is less harsh than in English. Oc. Umilis, idra, ostibus, orum. J. This was used in Latin just like the vowel e, and substituted at times simply for the purpose of meter. Jungo, Jupiter, Iaceo, Julius. R. This was called litera canina, meaning snarling dog's letter, so it is rolled and never retroflex like it is in English. Errare. Curare. Proverbium. Rumor. S. This is mainly voiceless, as in sing, for example, mors, or sanus but at times it is voiced, as in rows, such as with posui, misi, and rosa. T. This is always unaspirated, as in tired, never as in tip, and never as in nation. Tutus. Kiwitas. Mito. V. This is a consonantal U, because Latin originally did not have a letter U. The letter V served as both a V and a U, so it sounds like W as in wine, and not as in vine. Vita. Winum. Vivere. Or, Weni, Weedy, Wiki. X. This is the equivalent of C and S, like the Greek xi, as in six. Mixtura. Exercitus. Dux. Z. This is equal to the Greek zeta. This is very rare in Latin and only present in Greek words like zephyrus. Now let's go over common pairs of letters that we will see frequently, as these will have specific pronunciations that will be important to know. BS or BT will sound more like PS or PT. Obsideo. Urbs. CC. If one C is hard, here double the sound as though it is KK. Eke. Occidere. Occasio. CH. This is the equivalent of the Greek letter ki and pronounced like a K. Machina. Chorus. Carta. Pulker. PH. This is the equivalent of the Greek letter phi and pronounced as an aspirated PH, not as F. Poca. Pilosopus. Q-U. This is read like K-W, as in quick, and not like antique. Aqua. Quoniam. Loquor. S-C. If the letter C is hard, C preceded by S is pronounced distinctively and also hard. Schio. Schindo. Schientia. TH. 
This represents the Greek letter theta, and it has the same sound as the letter T. Teatrum. Termai. T-I. This is never like in the English word humiliation, but rather like a true T. Natio. Militiae. Functio. G-N. These letters are pronounced separately, like in the English word wingnut. Ignis. Magnus. Dignus. Ignobilis. We will sometimes see double consonants, like CC, which we just discussed, and these are always stressed, just like in the Italian language. Because of this, they should include a slight pause or emphasis, and are never slurred. Britannia, Camillus, Flamma, Errare. The stress in Latin usually falls on the penultimate syllable, meaning second to last, such as with monere or romanus, unless that syllable is short. In such a case, it will fall on the antipenultimate or third to last, such as with femina, necessitas, dicere. Monosyllabic words obviously take the stress on the only syllable, as with nunc. In words with two syllables, always stress the first one, like with ignis or ala. And with that, we have a basic understanding of the phonetic rules for both vowels and consonants in the Latin language. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.